Before you guys start working today, I want to give you a brief refresher on the formulas we've had for this unit. The first one you've used as part of your project, and that's our Newton's second law formula, which is simply force equals mass times acceleration. The other one you haven't had as much practice with, and that's our formula for weight, which is mass times gravity. We can put it in a formula triangle that looks like that, or we can write it algebraically, like this. And as a reminder, gravity is 9.81 newtons per kilogram. If you don't already have this information on the reference page of your notebook, you should make sure and add it. I'm going to use as an example problem number one off the worksheet you guys have. And that one asks, what is your weight if you have a mass of 60 kilograms? So I'm going to go ahead and draw my nice big T to use for pegs. And the first step is to identify the unknown. I'm going to look for phrases like what is or how much. In this case, I've got what is your weight. So that tells me that what I'm looking for is weight. So in the space for my unknown, I'm going to go ahead and put weight equals question mark. The next step is to look for some given information. In this case, it's got a number, 60 kilograms. It also tells me that that number is a mass. Now, anytime you've got a number in kilograms, it's going to automatically be a mass. But in this case, we have those extra key words, a mass of 60 kilograms. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my given list. Now, that's the only number we're given in this problem. But whenever you're dealing with weight, you're going to have to use gravity, which on Earth is 9.81 newtons per kilogram. Now, if I look at the formula triangle and I cover up weight, what's left over is mass and gravity next to each other. So that tells me that weight is mass times gravity. So in the last spot, I'm going to go ahead and plug in numbers to get my answer. Instead of mass, I'm going to write 60 kilograms. And instead of G, I'm going to do that 9.81 newtons per kilogram. And when I plug that into my calculator, I get 589. And then the units on weight are always going to be newtons, which are also our unit of force.